we want to calculate the fluid floor force uh, on this this figure, um, which entails calculating against the vertical side, um, the tank here filled with water, where the dimensions are given. Find the fluid force in pounds on the side of this tank with the weight density. Uh, given to be 62.4 pounds per cubic uh, foot. Uh, here's what I did with this. Uh, the instructions that are given would have us to calculate the fluid force with respect to the dimensions of the Y. So this fluid force is equal to the weight density times the integral from C to D of the height with respect to Y times the, the lateral length with respect to Y times just a little change in Y uh, to give us the complete area. So the area is the length times the width L times D Y. And, and what that is, is if we look at that, then this length here, and that changes. This guy is our L of Y, and, and then when you go up and down, we get the so-called height, H of Y, and then you want to calculate that as Y goes from C here. So y goes to D. Um, and we use Y here as, as parabola. Now, for me, it was very difficult calculating this with respect to Y. Um, and that happens. Uh, so what I did was to transform this to a formula with respect to X. And I think for most of us, we are comfortable with that. So this is the weight density times the integral as that goes from A to B. If I keep on H of X times oh, L of X times DX. Now let me quantify uh, what that is. So when we calculate that, um, we have this so-called this length now is L of X and then this height H of X, they're not the same. And so here, we're going to go now from, instead of Y from C to B, we're going to X from A to B. So, so here, I have X is equal to A. If you look at that, that's going to be negative 5. If we take uh, this point, this is equal to you know, in that sense. And then over here, this vertical uh, maximum is negative And let's see if we can quantify L of X and see if we can quantify it again. Uh, this H of X. So, uh, the trick is on that, that L of X. This L of X is changing. That, that is, this length here is changing as you submerge this, this slab, right? Um, so, say for example, if I'm considering this point, and I'm, I'm at that point uh, with respect to uh, this length. And so that length would go from the origin here. So, so if that be the case, where the, the maximum for just this right side is five, and then over here on the other side, uh, we have uh, negative five. But when I calculate this point, this is only giving me a number. This is giving me a number 10 minus x if this is x. So, but when you do that, 
that total length is symmetric. It's also and then you calculate each point <laughs> along the parabola. So what we're saying is this this L of X is equal to, watch this, two times parentheses. 10 minus x. 10 minus x gets me to this point. But it has to be times 2 because it's symmetric. I'm looking at this length here. So it's times 2. So we have 10 minus x as well. So that's, that's the length. Now, since I put this with respect to, to x, my height is easy. My height is just a parabola. Now, doing that would avoid me having to convert uh, this uh, guy from y equal to x squared to x equal to y. And you have to deal with that. And then, check that out. If you deal with respect to, to y, looking at this formula, then you have to also change H to the H of Y. And that's kind of tricky. So I think uh, the way I have uh, transformed it works out a little bit easier. Let's see. This fluid force is that weight density of the water times the integral from negative 5 to 5. Here I have this height, which is, I'm just going to write this as 20 minus 2x. So this is 20 minus 2x times the length, and the length is automatically oh, come along. Come along. Oh, the length is 20 minus 2x. So I'm just going to turn it from this multiplication so you're good. H is x squared. Simplify that, that's 20 the God x squared he's minus back. 2 times what x to the third. guys cancel at negative 5 to the fourth is just positive so these are opposites here so they cancel so I have 62.4 
Now, these two terms, this term here and that term there, are the same. Negative and negative is positive, so I'm just going to say times two. Times two there. And this is 20. here that you see that the weight density is 62.4 pounds per cubic feet. The feet cancel out because uh, this height is in feet. This length is in Things a little bit easier to digest. I don't 